Well, we didn't get the beginning of it, did we? Oh. That's all right, though. We are back here trying to get to this fuel injector. Number yeah. three. What? We need to take off these and replace them. Oh, all these again. bolts. Yeah, and the intake. We need to get some spark plugs. Well, we already did the spark plug. You can see we had a bit of a trial and error here, but that's all set. Can I clean out this? Yeah, the air filter did a good job on that. So anyways, but uh, we're here to get this fuel injector out. This fuel injector is stuck open. It's uh, cylinder number three. That's one, three, six. So I was gonna do all injectors, but for the amount of money that I gotta spend on an injector, I'll do one. If I have to come back in here, I'll do it again. Not a big deal. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. We did not start filming this until late. My son actually said, Dad, why aren't we recording this? I go, Tyler, you're absolutely right. What we have here is a 3.1. We're going after an injector. We got 210,000 miles on this particular 3.1 liter uh, GM motor. I have a nice half inch extension keeping this propped up. If you do it this way to take your intake off, that way you don't have to take any of the um, coolant lines off. You don't have to take anything off over here. I started taking these off and then I'm looking. I don't really want to break that gasket seal right here on the intake. Leave everything alone. Just prop it up. Uh, last step is I got to get that nut off the uh, off that. Uh, that is a fuel regulator, which needs to probably be replaced. I did replace it, believe it or not. Rusty is nothing. Anyways, I've been getting a code. Uh, uh, misfire 3. Uh, my injector stuck open. So this injector right here on this rail. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six injectors, fuel injectors. Uh, number 3 is stuck wide open. It is dumping raw fuel out the back of cylinder number 3. Took the spark plug out, completely covered in fuel. I wanted to make sure I had timing right, hence why you see the fire extinguisher stuff. Had a small little fire, no problem, put it out within a second. Had the fire extinguisher right near, near me, because I had a feeling it was going to happen if it was jumping spark. Uh, plenty of ignition, plenty of time. I actually moved it from out of there where I put it there Saturday, Friday night. Drove it right up here, no problem. Started stuttering again because it was flooding out that cylinder number three, running on five cylinders, not a set of six. So we are currently at the stage of where you need to take, that's about it. That's all the bolts you need to take off right there your uh coil pack and infinite i don't know what happened to the end of the video but i wanted to touch base i was just editing found out my camera stopped i don't know why i just spit with the sun beautiful sun coming up over there uh it's the next day so after that recording stopped i basically took the fuel rails out took all six injectors out replaced all the o-rings put the brand new one in on cylinder number three, put it all back together, and I still had multiple misfires. This is my fault. I think I should have changed all six injectors, and I think I would have been just fine. So right now, as it stands, that car is in the driveway, and I'm debating on whether to bring a new vehicle in, and I'll introduce it to the channel. I think I'm done with this car, to be honest with you guys. It's going to cost another uh, $580 to do the rest of the... Um, to do the rest of the uh, injectors. And 210,000 miles, the transmission's tired, the rocker panels are all rotted out. Uh, it, it's rough shape. It might be time to retire the Buick. I'm sad to see it go. Been a great car. You guys have followed on the channel. It's been here for a long time. It owes me absolutely nothing. So uh, at the end of the day, it's been a good car, but it's, it might be time to move on. And I have another vehicle potentially coming to the channel and you guys will be the first to see it. I will make a video upon uh, that arriving and I will make an updated video on the Ford Ranger that is currently off the trailer. Front end is apart. Uh, we have not, uh, well, I should say I have not forgotten about that. You guys may have forgotten about that. And that's my fault. It's been over nine months since I touched that truck. Uh, you know how life gets, especially today uh, in 2024. It is bananas, banana cakes. But I just wanted to touch base before we get going here for the day. I wanted to finish this video off by uh, saying I appreciate you guys watching. And um, like I said, that job wasn't too hard. There are other videos on YouTube about this particular job at hand doing the injectors, which will be way more in depth than I did. And like I said, I kind of missed an opportunity to film every step for you guys. But it's fairly simple. Take that intake off, get to the fuel rails, unplug some plugs, unbolt six bolts from the upper intake manifold, and uh, make sure you get gaskets because that is a key component to when you put things back together. You always want to replace your gaskets because an air leak or a vacuum leak will cause 
complete headaches for you going down the road or even just trying to start it again. So, um, again, we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned. There'll be a new vehicle uh, potentially coming to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.